is dawn on the plains of Galtier One, and here we find the smallest and monks the most agile of birds, lone male Cydidia wydidiensis, commonly known as the Humwinder. He wakes from his sleep to begin a day of foraging amongst the natural volcanic vents, rich in raw, unrefined resources. These elusive and often hard to detect birds will spend 80% of their waking lives gathering and consuming specific materials, which deep within their bodies undergo a process known as grinding, a process of conversion enabling them to develop and to grow. Scratching at the fumarole with a single pulse laser loosens off a morsel of carbon which is swiftly captured up by a rather special feature. Taking up almost the entire lower side of its body is a tongue-like scoop that a hungry bird can lower at will. He's not alone for long, however. Volcanic vents here are rare, and he's quickly joined by a larger female humwinder. Under normal circumstances, another's presence would be intolerable. However, here at what is the only feeding site on the continent, we see behavioral adaptation. Humwinders joining together what is known as a wing, for now, the newcomer is welcome. As is often the case in nature, safety in numbers. As the morning progresses, they are joined by a second younger male, who immediately opens fire with a few short bursts. Ever patient, the older humwinders do not interpret this as an act of aggression, but rather the exuberance of youth. Despite his showing off, he's tolerated and accepted into the wing. However, the younger male is inexperienced and is not yet entirely able to fend for himself. The older couple show the enthusiastic youngster how to discover suitable nodes, passing on their expertise and, in essence, taking him under their wing. In this harsh and unforgiving landscape, slow learners do not last long. With the use of thruster flashes, careful rotations and the occasional volley of laser fire, the older humwinders are able to make their points clear. Fortunately, the youngling is a quick study and almost immediately starts foraging alongside his newfound wingmates. There's a problem. Danger approaches in the form of a predator, the diamondback. It too seeks the resources available at the site, either from the vents or indeed from the humwinders themselves. Typically approaching with the sun behind it, a much larger and relatively slow diamondback is able to mask its approach, coming alarmingly close to the feeding wing until the crucial moment. But its approach is, this time at least, in effect. It's spotted. Unwind wing scatters. Never easily deterred, the persistent predator tries again. With the use of a new advanced camera drone, we are able to view these attacks from the Diamondback's perspective. He breaks cover and tries again to snatch one of the feeding humwinders. The wing is able to use their greater agility and the distraction of their colored trails to confuse and to disorient it. Having successfully dispersed the wing, the Diamondback moves into his new home. But whilst there is safety in numbers for the humwinders, there is also strength. And with their only food source under threat, the wing begin to use their advantages, making fast, threatening dives and swoops on the invader. The Diamondback is not easily scared, however. It soon becomes a pan. More direct approach is needed to encourage him to move on. 
Working as an effective unit, we see that the hunted can swiftly become the hunters. The wing begins using their very high speed and superb agility to peck at the now defensive Diamondback, dive bombing to drive off the interloper. Humwinders are remarkably resilient and tough, and are able to batter at the Diamondback's shields, forcing him to reconsider his position. The Diamondback quickly tires of this barrage of small, yet uncatchable and irritating attacks. He seizes an opportunity to make his escape. And with their territory secure, the wing returns to feeding. They are once again safe, for now at least. It's been a busy day, and it's time for the wing to rest. They head into Super Cruise for the move to the nesting site for the night. In this daily migration, they are quickly joined by a swarm of like-minded humwinders, for all of whom the busy day begin again tomorrow with new dramas.